guys, so I'm about to head off to Hawaii on Sunday and I'm trying really hard to get packed because feeding me is expensive anyway. I have to eat paleo, I can't eat normal grains. And so I'm a little nervous about how much it's gonna cost there. So, I used to make a lot of jerky and uh, this time I decided I was just gonna do that. It was expensive to buy the meat but it probably won't be as expensive as eating there. So I wanted to show you what I made this week and today I'm showing you a recipe from uh, Dining on a Dime. Both of them are. The first is a jerky recipe that you can just put into a dehydrator. The second is a salad dressing recipe. I, actually, I don't show you how quick it is to get put together. I show you the finished product because I am in a little bit of a hurry, but she has a fantastic cookbook. A lot of the things that I can eat come out of that book, and I have been able to retrofit the things that have grain in them. So. One option is she does have a recipe for blue cheese dressing that is amazing. It has cottage cheese in it, which also helps with kind of the lumpiness. Um, and everything in here is super easy, with the exception maybe the blue cheese is pretty much all you'd have to buy that wasn't generally in your pantry. So make sure to go check them out. I am trying to get more of a cooking video once a week. There's Dining on a Dime. I highly recommend the book. And the reason she does it is not because she's prepping, but because it's more frugal to cook from scratch. So the link is in the description below. This helps support our channel. And uh, we hope you enjoy the recipes. We hope you'll send us pictures of what you've made and if you like it. And wish me luck in Hawaii. Uh, the girls will be with grannies and grandpas for a week again, but after that we should be here in Idaho for the rest of the summer. And I'm excited for that to happen. So we'll talk to you later. So what do you think of the jerky? It's really good. And I and I love the fat. I really love the fat. Mind if I take a little bit of that? I haven't tried it. Um, no, that's rather a large piece. So this is my jerky. It's a beef jerky. And I got three rows, so I wanted to make sure I would have enough for a week. Let's show that. I wanted to make sure that I would have enough for a week. So it's three rows worth. I eat a lot of meat and I really struggle with preservatives and it just went overnight. I don't know how much it would cost if I had that much turkey that I was trying to purchase. Again, there's no nitrates in this. And those ones, okay, hold on to those ones. I didn't have them on the air flow through tray so you can see the difference. Those ones are not as brittle, they have more moisture in them so we'll probably run them on a tray on the top now. Okay. It is a meat product. You wanna make sure it hits that 160 degree temp. 